The side panel in VS Code lets you display a view or group of views to the side of the current editor. In this case, I've configured it to contain the outline view so that my outline view is always going to be visible no matter what I'm working on. So over here on the right-hand side of the window, we have the side panel. And then on the left-hand side, we have the side bar. And again, the side panel is always going to be showing the outline view in this case, no matter what I am actually viewing over here in the sidebar. Now you can configure the side panel with any view that you'd like. So I'm gonna actually reset my view layout. So I'll say reset view locations here just to demonstrate this. And let's say again, we wanted to move the outline view over into the side panel. I'll find the view that I'm interested in, click and drag on its header here and go over to the side of my window until I get this drop indicator. And when I drop it over here, it's gone and uh, this view is now in the side panel. So I just was able to move the outline view over into the side panel. Now, while working with the side panel, one other thing to note is that if you go in and close the side panel here, so click on the little X, you can always use the toggle side panel command to go and show it again. So I'll open the command palette with control shift P or command shift P. I'll say toggle side panel. And you can see that now the side panel is showing again. Now, a few other things on customizing the view layout in the side panel, you can actually move entire view groups over as well. So one common use case for the side panel is showing the source control view, and I can easily move that over just by going to the source control activity bar item over here, clicking and dragging on that. And I'm going to actually drop this into the header of the side panel. So go up to the header here on the side panel. And when I drop this, you can see it's created a new icon. So this source control icon is showing up. And now I've gone and moved the source control view when I click on that over into the side panel. And again, the nice feature of this is that I can always have the source control view be visible. And I can go and switch back to the outline view if I want that one to be visible instead. One final thing to note is that you can actually have multiple views showing at the same time over in the side panel, much as you can with the sidebar. So let's say that I want to have the timeline view visible along with my outline view. I can just take that timeline view, drag and drop it over to the side panel. And if I drop it within the current view, I will actually go and split that view so that I now have both the outline view and the timeline view visible at the same time. Again, if you ever mess up your layout and want to reset everything, you can always use the reset view locations and that will go and set VS Code back to its default uh, layout. And then you can go and drag things over into the side panel again. So that's a quick introduction to the side panel in VS Code.